our oxygen system is special oxygen tank and delivery system as it is used to deliver oxygen that is US pharmaceutical grade the tank has a color scheme that is usually green or green with silver it has a special placard on it it has a yellow diamond that says oxidizer or oxygen and in that label should say USP there are many different sizes but the valve to these tanks are very specific as it has a pin and index system These oxygen tanks should be kept in their carrying devices or laying flat. We want to avoid using any petroleum based lubricants and keep the oxygen away from any valve, flammable, or open source of flame. When we're using and connecting the oxygen tank to the regulator we will use a tension wrench or a valve wrench to open up the valve to clear the port and opening of any debris this should be done with the opening pointed away from you and not towards any other responders or personnel it's just a quick turn of the valve to allow the gas to come out from the tank and out through the stem to clear any debris from there. Once we know that the oxygen tank and stem and openings are clear, close the tank quickly and then get the regulator and regular assembly quickly fastened and affixed to the tank. The regulator assembly has a few components. It has a line where there's two pins and the opening that fits directly into the pin and into the system there's usually a washer interface so that when we tighten using the tightening wrench towards the back of the regulator assembly as it affixes itself to the tank that gasket in between the pin and into the system and the tank's opening creates a tight seal so that the gas does not seep out or vent out as we look at the regulator and regulator assembly, we notice that there is a large gauge on the front of that that has a, a color scheme and numbering. It should have a red color scheme and a green color scheme and numbers incrementally all the way up to above 2000. This is called your pressure gauge. It should operate as you turn on the tank. It will read the amount or the volume of pressure that's within the container or your tank. If the pressure gauge is in the red, that is not safe to operate, we need to change that tank out. Normal operations is about 500 PSI and you want to change it up. A full tank is usually in the 2000 range, 2000 PSI. Now coming off this regulator assembly towards the most distal port there, you would have a flow meter. This flow meter regulates the volume and liters of oxygen being emitted out through that tank. It may start off at zero and move up in increments of 0.5 or may just start off at two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, up to 25 liters per minute. You need to understand which passive flow device requires the liter flow nasal cannula, non breather, simple face mask, and nebulizer. These all require you to connect up to that oxygen port, then adjust the flow meter to deliver the oxygen. Now, when turning on the tank, we're going to open up the tank all the way open and then a quarter turn back. Set the flow meter, attach our devices, and then place the oxygen delivery device onto our patient. It's important to always have the flow running through the tubes or the mask before placing it on your patient. 
when we are discontinuing oxygen to our patient, remove the device from our patient, the mask, the cannulas, so that they are not being suffocated or rebreathing their own carbon dioxide. Remove the device, turn the flow meter off, turn the tank all the way off, and then purge that system so that there's no pressure in the tank. Regulator assembly. When we need to change the tank, ensure that the tank is in the off position. Release any air through the flow meter so that there is no air in the regulator or regulator assembly. Disconnect the regulator from the tank and interchange the tank. Now, on that spent tank or that tank that has less than 500 or 500 PSI left, there should be a little tab on it that says in use or empty. Take the in use and tear that off and it should now remain empty. Follow your local protocols or your department protocols as to where to place and to find full and spent or empty tanks so that they can be replenished. Please use your skill sheets when performing these skills and tasks.